In this video, I want to show you how to set up a conversion action in Google Ads for call clicks using Google Tag Manager. This is my website that I want to run ads for that and I want to track anybody who clicks on this phone number on my website. This is a URL actually, this phone number. If anybody clicks on that, I want to record it as a conversion in my campaigns. To do that, I go to my to the conversion page of my Google Ads account, create a new conversion action. I select a website. I need to give it my website domain to a scan. And then I select add a conversion action manually. For the category, you can select the one that is the closest to your goal. I'm going to select book appointment. For the conversion name, I'm going to name it phone call click February 2023. For the value, I don't use a value, count one and attribution model I'm going to select last click. You can select uh, data driven too if you want. This setting doesn't affect your conversion uh, recording, whether you record conversion or not, it just affects how they are recorded and enabled enhanced CPC, I'm going to turn it off too. It's for bid strategy for manual CPC bidding. Press, uh, click on done, save and continue. Now it gives me uh, the codes that I need to install on my website or on Google Tag Manager. I have conversion ID and conversion labels that these are the ones that I need to use in Google Tag Manager. Now I go to Google Tag Manager in the tag section. I need to create a new tag for this conversion action that I just created. Press new. Um, using the same name as the conversion action, phone call click Feb February 2023. Tag configuration, you need to select Google Ads conversion tracking. Conversion ID, I copy this conversion ID that I just created for my conversion action and conversion label. Conversion label is not required. You just uh, can use that so that later you can figure out what tag is related to which conversion action. Now I have my conversion ID, conversion label. The tag is uh, almost ready. At the same time, I need to create a new trigger. So that trigger uh, activates this tag. For the trigger, I'm going to create a new trigger using this plus button. Call it again the same thing, phone call click February 2023. Trigger configuration, I'm going to select just links because it's a URL, my phone number. Instead of all link links, I'm using some link links. For the type of trigger, I use click URLs. Now I need to give the URL of my phone uh, number. I copy the link using copy link address, going back to Google Tag Manager. I paste it 
in this section so now my trigger says anytime that somebody clicks on a URL which contains these elements, these values, my trigger will activate. I'm saving my trigger. My trigger is created. Now I need to save my tag. Here is the new tag that I just created and this is the trigger that is con firing trigger that is connected to that tag now i want to test my tag to make sure that it works i click on preview here i need to give it the url of my website connect it opens my website As you see, for now, uh, the new tag that I just created, phone call click February 2023, is uh, labeled as tags not fire. So my tag is not fired yet. We want to test it uh, through the link that we just opened. This was the link. I'm going to click on that. And as you see, now it says that my tag is fired. Phone call clicked. It moved to the tags fired section. So it tells me that my tag is set up correctly, my tag and trigger. Just remember, after you create your tag in Google Tag Manager, in order to make it work, you need to press submit and then publish the tag now my new tag is published